trial manager here at Walters Gardens and today we're going to talk about echinacea. Echinacea have really seen great improvements over the older genetics in the past few years. Um, better basal branching as well as higher quality flowers, larger bud count, and better garden performance as well. Walters Gardens offers echinaceas in a few different sizes. We offer them in a 72 count, a 30 count, as well as a 20 count plug. We recommend that you receive your echinacea in the spring as a fresh, actively growing plant and place them in a warm greenhouse at 65 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. A 72 count will finish in roughly 8 to 10 weeks in a gallon pot and around 6 to 8 weeks for the 20 count. We do recommend that you, uh, you pinch any flower stems out early on in production as it will help increase the basal branching. pH should be kept around 5.8 to 6.2 and an EC of around one and a half to two using the pour through method. We recommend feeding rates of 75 parts per million to 100, 150 parts per million constant liquid feed. Echinacea like to be kept at a consistent moisture. They do not tolerate wet conditions for a prolonged period of time as well as overly dry conditions. Echinacea are intermediate day plants, which means they will flower in photo periods of 12 to 16 hours. So anything above that, usually they're not going to flower quite well, and anything below that they will stay in a vegetative state. We do recommend to drench echinacea at transplant with a preventative broad spectrum fungicide. Pests that you may often see on echinacea will be aphids and white flies, and we recommend that you scout regularly and treat as necessary for those pests. Diseases that you will see most common on echinacea will be uh, botrytis um, from tight growing conditions, so we recommend spacing them properly and giving good airflow. Um, other things that you might find on echinacea would be crown and root rots from being grown too wet. Uh, fungicide drench should help prevent that as well as having good cultural practices. Powdery and downy mildew are also seen on echinacea, so scout and treat is necessary for those as well. Another disease that echinacea can be prone to is something called aster yellows. And that is a disease that will cause distorted flowers. A lot of times you'll see lime green or distorted growth on the flowers or chlorotic growth throughout the plant and stunted growth. Um, that is the reason we do not offer these as a bare root plant because this is passed by leaf hoppers out in the field. So it is not typically an issue in the greenhouse where the plants are protected and if you decide to overwinter echinacea, there are a few tips to do this successfully. We recommend making sure that the plant is fully rooted out in the container. And second, you want to make sure that the salt levels are not elevated in the soil. So you want to have a lower EC going into the winter time. We recommend lowering the feed rates as the weather cools in the late summer, early fall, and then leaching out the soil to a, a lower EC of around 0.5 using the pour through method. This should help you overwinter these very well. We do recommend uh, overwintering in a moderately heated greenhouse at around 38 degrees. Although other growers have been very successful with overwintering these in unheated greenhouses using a frost blanket to cover them. Echinacea will flower from a vernalized dormant plant in around 14 to 16 weeks when grown at 65 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Echinacea do not require vernalization to flower. These that you see pictured here are from fresh plants and they flowered very well. Vernalization will help increase the bud count as well as the overall habit of the plant. So it's not necessary in production, but it is uh, beneficial to do so. And again, I'm Jeremy Wendemuller from Walters Gardens, and thank you for joining us on this little segment about echinacea. And hopefully you can apply these tips to your production to help you become more successful. Mm -hmm.